Okay guys, I've been uh, cutting some trees around here and I made this trailer today or yesterday actually and I decided to put the, it to a really good test. I've tried it out a little bit but I haven't really loaded much in it. Okay, so right now there's three trees in there. Two of them little... Uh, well, actually, there's four trees. There's two of them little skinny small white ones and then there's two of those big uh, fluffy big trees. The ones that eat your uh, frames per second <laughs> trees. By the way, I'm going to uh, try to pull them over there. I have stuff sticking out everywhere. It's a big bush trailer. So I could put more trees in it, but I didn't do it. So I'm going to go ahead and try to hold it over that way. We'll see how it works. I have that one limb sticking out there, so we'll probably hang up on everything. So, I don't know how this will work. I hope it doesn't hang up on everything. Which it probably will. And it's already hanging up. So, what are we hanging up on? Okay, so it's that tree right there. Okay. So, yeah, there we go. We have a tree in the power line. <laughs> Someone's going to be upset. Their power is going to be out. I'll have to get that out of there later. I'm just moving everything here with my trailer. It's a little hard to maneuver in these little small uh, places. But I wanted something that can haul quite a bit of trees and stuff. There we go. You should be able to put everything in those trailers. Like anything you want. You can put hay, anything, as long as it has a trigger to cash it out. Or the trigger is high enough to cash it out. So I wish there was another road to go to the lumber mill because it's so hard to go down this one little one lane road basically. Yes, I like that guy's blinker. Must have been out of blinker flick. Uh, okay, so I'm going to maneuver around through here and then I will be back. Okay, I made it over here, so we're going to go on down this little road and then we're going to uh, see how it sells. I haven't sold nothing off of this yet, so I tested it, but I didn't test it real good, so if there's a problem, let me know on the trailer, on the trailer, so there we go, so I got a million three hundred thousand, hopefully this unloads, if not, I'm going to be very unhappy, there we go, I mean, you can probably chip it faster, and by the time you load it up, but I don't know, sometimes it locks the game up when you chip stuff. It might be just my low-end PC, but... Yeah, so let's pull a lever. Okay, I pulled a lever, and... We'll wait for the train to go off and see what we get out of that. I don't know if I hauled any more in. I can't remember without pulling a lever. I don't remember. It's been a couple days since I played this. I thought I locked my game up. I was like, oh no. Okay, so that was good. I went from a million three hundred thirty-one to a million four hundred and forty-eight. And this trailer is kind of hard to uh, maneuver around, but oh well, can't have everything. Right, right. Okay, so I'm gonna make my way back over and get some more trees. Well guys, I was trying to pick this tree up and I stood my motor straight up and down, kind of. So, I'm going to do some cutting up stuff here. So, we'll cut this. I uh, changed my Xbox controller thanks to this uh, first day reviews. This guy is so awesome. I'm sorry if I said anything bad about your mods. It did irritate me about the controls, but uh, you are actually did really awesome on all this stuff. I'm so sorry for anything I've... If I made you feel bad anytime, don't take the heart. Uh,
thanks to you, I figured out how to put the cu the key bind in for crouching with the Xbox controller. I'm crouching now. I mean, you jump first and you crouch. Okay, so, and I watched your setup on uh, your joysticks and everything. You have an awesome setup. Uh, I would love to get set up like that. That's, that's really cool. I like how you did with the chair. I mean, that's really good. Only thing I thought about when I seen that is like, why well, something sh shorts out and your chair catches on fire? <laughs> but I doubt that ever happened. But you never know. It could. You'll be thinking that now. So, anyway. I guess I'm going to chop this tree up here and see if I can get this thing loose. I cleaned my computer too. Took it apart, blew the dust out. Wasn't a lot of dust though. I don't understand. I still understand why it was doing that. I think it's just getting tired of being used. Don't really think HP Slims was supposed to be made for, uh, meant for playing games and stuff like that. So, I don't know. But I got that claw to move and everything. I like it. I like how I can do that. I just can't get the little test thing to close. But, oh well. Who cares about that? This tree is massively heavy. Oh my gosh. Let's get up here on this uh, tree here and see if we can chop it. Only thing about having a crouch is you can't use your other joystick. So, I don't know. I might, I don't know. I might try to figure out what the right bump button does and use that as my crouch. I don't know. So many possibilities now, huh? Thanks to that first day reviews. This guy's awesome. There we go. Oh, okay. Let's see if we can get it now. Yeah, I set the controls up best I could with the Xbox controller. I hold my left bump and uh, let's see, I hold my left bump and push over on my left joystick, left to right, and it moves left makes it go down, right makes it go up. I couldn't get it to go up and down, like, you know. So, and I can open my tusks or open the jaw. So, yeah. I think that's pretty cool. Glad I figured that out. <laughs> Helps to read stuff, I guess. Because I really like this machine. This machine is, like, awesome. I mean, this thing is just so cool. A little hard to operate still. I'm thinking about buying some joysticks because, obviously, that's what everybody is doing these days. All the kid, cool kids on the block. No, <laughs> I don't know. But, yeah, I'm going to try that sometime. Uh, I'm not very good at operating this thing. I just, have to, I just have to take my time at it. So I'm so glad I figured out how to uh, move that clamp thing around the front. Because I was having to reset it and stuff. Oh my goodness. If I find a tree that I can't pick up... Might have. I think I have. Alright, I think I have the trailer loaded as best I can. It was this one big tree here and another tree. It gets pretty bushy and it's hard to see how to load it after a while. So I'm going to cash it in. We'll see how it works to cash it in. Hopefully I don't hang on nothing. This rain. I think I'm going to take and uh, speed the time up here in a second and get rid of this rain. Because I'm, gonna, I'm getting tired of this rain, rain all the time. It's, it's weird, like on games, the day and night cycle, if you, if you ever think about it, it seems like nighttime takes forever to come back to day. And it seems like daytime is only like half the time of the daylight. You know, if you know what I mean. And it's like bad weather on games. It seems like it takes forever. It can be sunny for a little bit, and then all of a sudden it's raining, and it seems like it's raining for hours. 
There we go. Okay, it's time to save it. Okay, guys, uh, I've bought a feller buncher and a semi trailer and a semi truck for logging. As you can see, I've been logging. I had a bunch of footage, footage, and I didn't like it, so I just like scrapped. It was like 10 minutes worth. It was long, it took longer than that to record it, but I, I didn't care. So it was like 10 minutes worth. I, I scrapped it. I didn't like it. I mean, it had some good stuff, but it had some bad stuff. I mean, I just didn't like it. I just didn't like it. But anyway. Anyway, I'm trying to reduce the lag. I'm doing pretty good. I'm at 9 frames per second here. I look over here. And it goes up to 21. And I have my graphics at mid on here. 16 here. So if I go ahead and continue getting rid of some of these other trees, I think I'll be pretty good. So in the meantime, before I hit these, before I cut a few of these out, I'm not going to cut them all. I don't think I'm just going to leave a few. I think. I'm not sure. Of them standing ones. But uh, I'm going to take and go over and take my log truck over and skid the rest of them logs up and load them in the back of my truck. Or on the back of the truck. So let's do that. So I'm pretty much going to take and just load these logs up here and then I'll go over and skid them others. Because uh, these are kind of in the way. This trailer works pretty good for this. Because this way nothing rolls out. I think they're, uh, I, I should have made a dump on it, but oh well. Maybe someone will do that or I'll make one. Doesn't matter. Make it for semi or something. Yeah, my frames really drop when I look at that forest over there. Uh, Alright, I'm up here after fighting with traffic, <laughs> running them over and getting stuck on bridges and all kinds of stuff. So let's go ahead. I uh, took and fixed the controls for the way I like them on here. So we're just going to drag the logs right about here and drop them. And hopefully everything works fine. I fixed the smoke too for myself. Oh look, it's part of a tree. We'll take it too. That's right. That's right. I'm all backwards tonight. Let's see if we can get more than just the one. that stick to poke them around okay all right cool well, hopefully they don't go all out of whack I'll try to get them all I don't know how this will work I'm not very good at this so Let's see how this works. Okay, here we go. Let's go ahead and try to drag him here. This thing, these things are so cool. Like everything this guy has made is like the best. If it, you know, except for some of the controls and stuff at first. I mean, other than that, I mean, everything else is, like, really perfect. So, I mean, like, like this is so nice. This is so easy and fun. This makes logging so much better, having stuff like this. Yeah, I have the black smoke, too, if you guys don't notice. I haven't noticed that. <laughs> 
Let's go ahead and try to skid this one log here. Oh, we got it. Barely. Not really skidding it, but I'm carrying it, but who cares? See, can I back it up in there? I wonder. Sure I can. Get it close in there. Oh my gosh. I'm all out of whack here. I, I, I don't know what the deal is with me. I was like, I was trying to combine or something earlier because it wouldn't open up on another computer and uh, I was having problems with the steering. I was like, I don't know, I guess paying attention to which way the tires are turning. It was like, make me all backwards. I don't really understand. This big claw makes it so much nicer. Yeah, I never even really thought about a skitter. I thought about a skitter, but I never really thought about it. Like, I didn't know it would actually be this good if, you, if someone would make one. I don't know. I guess because there's really no use for skidding logs because everything else was being like, you know, you didn't really need one, more or less. There we go. Okay, so can we skid these backwards here? Of course we can. We're just going to drop them there. They're in a pile, pretty close. Okay guys, I'm going to go ahead and uh, cut some of these trees down. Because I'm tired of the lag over this way. And then I'm going to take the big uh, bucket loader. Or that big loader over there to the logs and load them up. So, let's just go ahead and see if we can fight with this lag. Uh, first day reviews commented on one of my comment on my videos and said that he had a better uh, one that worked better. I kind of got this one working. I mean it looks goofy with the tracks turning like that but I don't care. I like it. I like the way it works. It turns good now. If you just get past the thing. And I put the cutting length back on here because I will show you why in a second. You know, instead of cutting them down and leaving them with limbs on them, so you have to clean them up, why not take and uh, do it where you can cut them, then you can grab them, and you can let it glitch out like that. <laughs> That's not really what I had in mind. But then you can just take and let's uh, see if we can go ahead and just get this on over here bit. Okay, since this thing is just going to be contrary, so we're just going to hit it. Okay, so it, it will cut them at 16 meters long, or whatever, and you just can do that. Then you have manageable logs, which I could just go ahead and up it to cut the whole, trim the whole tree up, which I might do that soon, sometime. But for now, we're going to go ahead and continue cutting these trees down here. We'll go up in here a little bit farther and cut. Oops, missed it. There we go. Let's cut it. Oh, now I got world is going on? Maybe I need to turn the head back just a bit. Oh well. Let's just go ahead and trim them up. Well anyway, the theory is you just take and pick them up, lay them down basically on top of your boom, and then you just swing it around and you just cut them wherever you want to. Just about. And then you don't have to worry about all the limbs and everything. So let's just uh, go ahead and see if we can 
cut another tree here and get to actually to work right. Uh-oh. Oh, went the wrong way. There we go. There we go. See? Now we just went spin this thing around. Probably gonna be trees in the way, but we'll just back out of here. And then all we have to do is just swing this thing around. And oh my goodness, these are big trees though. And then uh oh. We're having complications here, so forgive me for my noobness on this. Anyway, then you just hit it and then you just cut them. And it cuts it to 16 meter long links. Then you have yourself some long logs and you can just drag them out. And there's no problems with anything. Then you have just little bitty tops. So yeah, that's how that works. Just like that. I get kind of confused on my buttons so though. Added two more to it. So we're gonna go over here and chop this tree down. Just put it in here. That's pretty far away. Anyway, I tried to see about uh, a code to figure out how to uh, cut the white trees, but. I asked Snowcraft97 because he's always dealing in all this forestry stuff. He said he doesn't think it can be done because it's coated in the trees. So I was going to say, man, that'd be awesome. Just take this cutter and just grab the tree and just cut them stupid white ones down. And then you don't have to worry about them. Oh. We're having issues here. There we go push logs out of the way. So we'll just go ahead and just cut this tree here before it flips me all over the place. So this is this works pretty good actually. I mean you can get a clear a forest quick doing this. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and load this uh load her up on here I think okay so now it's loaded up on there let's go ahead and lift it the reason I look at the ground when I'm running is because it keeps my frames from dropping massively all right okay so now we're in here let's go ahead and just pull this up on here there we go I think I want to take the tractor too and stump grind some grind some stumps out. Oh, wrong button. That's what I want. Yeah, I think I want to take the tractor. Oh, I'm going to let the tailgate back down. I'm going to load. Okay, so now let's load this tractor up. Should fit up on there. Okay, so let's drive it up on there. If I don't miss the ramp first. Which I about did. About did miss the ramp. Oh look, I'm in the back of it. Oh no, I just stabbed first day review. No. <laughs> okay, here we go. That would suck. Okay. Uh, now we just get jump on our truck and fold it up. Hold this ramp up and then we're ready to go. Oh, there we go. Alright guys, I think I want to end it there. Uh, I will continue this logging on the next one. So if you guys like my videos, please hit that like button, subscribe, and share. Thanks. Bye.